Morley Safer is being remembered tonight as one of the most iconic journalists of our time. The veteran 60 Minutes correspondent died this morning, one week after announcing his retirement. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports on Safer's six decades of magnificent storytelling. From his messy office on the ninth floor of a building on West 57th Street, Morley Safer always seemed to find the precise words to capture his subject. He stares down from the podium like some benevolent bird of prey, eyes staring past that great beak. He grew up and his his idol was Hemingway. And so he, I think, always thought, I want to be a writer. His friend and 60 Minutes colleague Jeff Fager says Safer's 919 stories over 46 years on the broadcast were the embodiment of the best in TV journalism. He had that great writing ability and he had curiosity. He loved traveling the world and he couldn't wait to get out on stories. From his early days covering the hell of the Vietnam War. Come this way, Con. To one of his final stories taking viewers inside the glories of the Vatican Library. To breathe the air and touch the hand of history. Safer enchanted viewers with his signature wit. He was a wry observer of the human condition, unafraid to puncture pretensions, as in his famous takedown of modern art. It's a, a, a white rectangle. Right. Uh, he's a minimal artist. And, uh... I would say so. <laughs> Safer had a particular way with famous women, producing revealing profiles of Katharine Hepburn, Meryl Streep, Anna Wintour, and Dolly Parton. He was a man about town with his wife Jane, who survives him, along with a daughter and three grandchildren, and millions of viewers who watched and learned and laughed. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Safer won every major award, including four DuPonts, three Peabody's, and 12 Emmys. His funeral will be private, but a public memorial will be held at a later date. And there will be much more on Morley Safer coming up tonight on the CBS Evening News. And Charlie Rose is in for Scott Pelly tonight, and he joins us now live. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Maurice and Christine. I, Morley Safer was a great and dear colleague of mine, and before I even was at CBS, he would come do my PBS show. several times by a bearded young man. Nations like Mayor Cacciare resent outsiders who dismiss this. The interesting thing about him was not only was he a great reporter, he also was a stylist. I mean, he was a man who had a great sense of, of craft and great sense of, of the sort of joy of words and pictures. That's the word, Charlie. Joy. We've been repeating it tonight, and it's so true. Thanks so much. Much more ahead on the CBS Saving News tonight. Thanks.